With an almost sense of pride and fulfillment, President Muhammad Buhari takes the floor of the United Nations General Assembly presided over for the first time in 30 years by his countryman and seasoned diplomat Tijani Muhammad Bandi. Addressing the largest gathering of world leaders for the fifth time since coming to power, the Nigerian leader, perhaps taking cognizance of the heavy weight on his shoulders, virtually spoke for Africa. He said time has come for industrial countries to take a long-term view of Africa and genuinely support its developmental efforts through collective action to combat threats of poverty and exclusion. A developed Africa will not be antagonistic to industrialized countries but we will become friends and partners in prosperity, security, and development. A prosperous Africa will mean greater prosperity for the rest of the world. A poor Africa will be a drag on the rest of the world. Is this what the international community want? President Buhari challenged the United Nations to take the lead on issues that continue to cloud the prospects for international peace and prosperity, especially the rights of the Palestinian people to have their own country, risks associated with nuclear proliferation, unfair and unjust trading practices, as well as the looming danger of climate change. On climate change, Nigeria stands resolutely with the international community in observing agreed carbon emission targets, which I signed in 2015. As we advocate and strive for inclusion within our societies. We must also ensure inclusion prevails in our collective action as members of international community. That is why we support the expansion of the Security Council to reflect the diversity and dynamics of the 21st century. And as violence and threats of conflicts continue to blight the lives of too many people globally, the president said Nigeria is no exception, saying, however, that in the last elections that renewed his mandate, the people backed the politics of tolerance, inclusion, and community over politics of protest and division. Our election promises emphasized political stability, freedom and prosperity, tackling poverty, schooling our young and providing them with the tools to build better lives. Our progress and delivery are deliberate, purposeful, and measured. We clearly appreciate there are no quick fixes to complex challenges. President Buhari is, however, worried that the social media networks now facilitate the spread of religious, racist, xenophobic, and false messages capable of tearing some countries apart, saying major tech companies must be alive to their responsibilities. Organized criminal networks often acting with impunity across international borders, presenting new challenges where only collective action can deliver genuine results. This is true in the battle against violent extremism, against trafficking in people and drugs, and against corruption and money laundering. The present Nigerian government is facing the challenges of corruption head on. We are giving notice to international criminal groups by the vigorous prosecution of the fee and ID scam attempting to cheat Nigeria of billions of dollars. President Muhammad Buhari told the world leaders that as a young soldier he witnessed at first hand what he called the terrible legacy of destruction and broken lives that conflict leaves in his wake and therefore reaffirmed Nigeria's commitment to international peace, security and sustainable development through effective partnerships and cooperation for the benefit of humanity. From New York, Adamu Sambo, NTA News.